so hello everyone welcome to this new video so first of all i would like to thank uh, all the fourth sem students those who have shown huge love for our uh, fourth sem videos okay which we have already uploaded it so as you know that you guys are having the exams for the final year uh, final ex final exam that is the first exam is biology for engineers okay so what we have decided it uh, for the latest uh, fourth sem students is that we are going to provide some important uh, questions from each and every module okay so here we are having uh, some of the important set of questions you could be ca calling as a uh, question bank so for each module i'm going to do each uh, separate videos so in this module that is there are around seven questions which are finalized which are very very important ones okay so if you study these seven questions there are high probabilities that the any one of any one or two of them would be definitely asked for the exams okay so these questions are very important which i'm going to discuss also the notes uh, also some other concepts from module 1 that is i'm going to discuss with one uh, pdf notes which i have here okay so this pdf notes i'm going to discuss it with you all and uh, let us try to analyze which and all are the concepts which are very important ones okay so that uh, question bank and that notes would be available in the description you should be going and accessing it okay so now let us discuss one by one okay uh, the uh, questions so first question is explain the structure and functions of cell with a neat label diagram okay so this question is multiple times repeated okay so that's why i have finalized these questions because these questions are very very important and previously it had come okay so that's why this is one question so definitely it might be getting they might be asking it second is mention the differences between plant and animal cells so this question is a fixed question in each and every question paper okay so this you should be going through so we have what are stem cells explain the classification and applications of these stem cells next the question number 4 is explain in detail the properties and applications of nucleic acids and lipids question number 5 what is a biomolecule explain the classification of biomolecules so this would be asked for sure then sixth one mention about the properties and applications of vitamins and hormones okay so this question is there right this is repeated actually two to three times in the previous year papers of all the biology engineers okay and uh, seventh one mention about the classification and functions of carbohydrates and proteins okay so this would be asking they would be asking for sure so this set of questions that is uh, seven questions i have analyzed it and uh, i have come with the conclusion that if you study these seven questions there are high chances that these questions should be arriving for the exam okay so these were the set of questions in the question bank now let us see with the some of the important stuffs from module 1 okay so the name of the module is cell basic unit of life right module 1 so in that the first important uh, uh, is about the cell definition then structures and functions of cell okay then uh, classification of cell with there are two types mainly prokaryotic and eukaryotic okay then this is the diagram of the prokaryotic cell okay this is for the eukaryotic cell then this is the structure of a cell so this they might be asking to draw okay the structure of the cell all the all the parts you should be mentioning okay next these are the things about cell membrane cell wall everything is mentioned the next we have difference between plant cell and animal cell okay so this also is very important i have told you in my question bank in that see the they have, they have given the pictorial representation for plant cell as well as animal cell so please go through it then we have stem cells stem cells and their applications so here we have the definition of stem cells then we have the some types of stem cells here there are basically four types embryonic adult induced pluripotent and mesenchymal okay then we have uh, for each of them the explanation is given uh, given here okay you just go through it then uh, about biomolecules they are mentioned what are biomolecules the definition the different types of biomolecules that is lipids nucleic acid carbohydrates and proteins okay for each of them the explanation is provided here so what are carbohydrates made of so this uh, thing uh, they would be asking to draw the uh, chemical representation of glucose and fructose that is c6h12o6 and this is c12h24o12 i don't for fructose then sources of carbohydrates are potatoes maize milk popcorn bread these things and all they would be asking types of carbohydrates uh, they are divided into two types namely simple and complex so under simple we have monosaccharides and disaccharides okay monosaccharides consists consists of glucose 
fructose and galactose whereas disaccharides consists of maltose lactose sucrose and complex part we have polysaccharides we have starches fibers glycogen everything comes under the polysaccharides okay so this also they might be asking so for each of them the explanation is provided here okay then these are some of the basic examples of carbohydrates dairy products fruits grains legumes starchy vegetables etc okay then proteins about proteins they mentioned okay then structure of protein okay using amino acid formula structure they mentioned it here then functions of proteins so see here they have different functions of proteins here one is digestion movement structure and support cellular communication acts as a messenger okay so these things also you should be knowing next about nucleic acids okay nucleic acids they mentioned here some of the two important examples for nucleic acids are deoxyribose and ribose okay for deoxyribose nucleic acid one important example is dna okay then dna structure also they mentioned so if in case if they ask the structure of dna is it's mentioned here rna structure also then about lipids also they have mentioned here some things and the uh, basic structure of lipids along with their properties okay go through it then the, this is the structure of lipids in the saturated as well as unsaturated uh, acids then classification of lipids they are classified into basic two types that is non saponifiable and saponifiable lipids okay the explanation is uh, mentioned here then fatty acids waxes everything is mentioned here what are enzymes so this is very important enzymes can be defined as biological polymers that catalyze biochemical reactions so this is the definition of enz enzymes so then we have example some examples of enzymes are beverages okay and uh, other things they mentioned properties of enzymes are mentioned functions of enzymes okay go through each and every one then vitamins okay under vitamins again the classification vitamin is classified into many types that is basically vitamin a vitamin b1 vitamin b2 b6 b12 c d e k etc okay so these things are how one set certain set of set of specifications and they are uh, very very easy, essential for any one part of the body okay then we have hormones the definition of hormones okay then types of hormones we have peptide hormones and steroid hormones everything is mentioned here so please go through it so these were the things everything is mentioned in this pdf okay so this pdf i'm going to put it in the description go and access it and study it okay so this was all about module 1 which and all are the important stuff i have told you okay those things you study it along with the question bank i have told you so please go and access the pdf and study it okay so all the best for the exams guys please like share subscribe to our channel keep supporting us and uh, stay updated for the upcoming subject videos as well after this you are having electromagnetic theory i guess for the fourth sem students so please all the videos are updated of all the modules along with the model paper solutions go and check it out okay once you check it out and let me know your honest opinion about how you like those videos okay so that's all guys we'll see you in the next video with module 2 okay thank you